Ariel's got a sunburn. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Feather has gotten herself a sunburn. Hi Militia Plums, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Plumby and today I am going to be bringing you guys another part of the Sims 4 Honey Brew Legacy. So we are currently starting off on once again a very, very, very pretty morning in Willow Creek. Look how gorgeous everything looks in this world. Oh my god, there's some like glow flies. Wait, they're gone now, but they were so pretty. But look how pretty everything looks. Oh my god, this world. I know I need to like shut up. <laughs> about how much I love Willow Creek because it's honestly becoming quite obsessive <laughs> at this point. But I really love this world and like, look at the sun. Where's the sun rising? Just like, look, 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 please. Tell me that isn't beautiful. Tell me that isn't beautiful. Before we get more into today's part, I just want to quickly give a huge, 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 huge shout out to Fiona for making this family tree for the honey brews. They actually made this a couple of days ago. I was actually meant to feature it in the last part but I completely forgot so I am going to be featuring this family tree in today's part. I do apologize for kind of <laughs> featuring it a little bit too late but this is the Honey Bruce family tree. This is on the Plum family tree app. This is a really awesome you know app for to create your sims for family trees. I'd really really recommend it and they created the Honey Bruce family tree on here so I just want to take a moment to appreciate this. If you actually click on Feather they have even put in a description for her like oh my goodness. I won't be able to read all the descriptions but look at this we have the traits the inspiration i'll leave a link in the description to the family tree and next we have finley and the reason i love this is that they actually put who finley was made by he was made by soy soy 11 so i think that's actually amazing because of course you know i didn't make finley so that's actually amazing that we can you know see who made you know the sims that i didn't make which is amazing you look <laughs> children's book author how amazing is that we also have a picture of willow or you know willow's kind of thing here so we have willow look at all this information I love it. I really recommend you guys do go ahead and read the descriptions. But yeah, it is so, so lovely. And I just, I love it so much. I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> it's really, really nice. And the attention to detail is absolutely brilliant. So yeah, thank you so much, Fiona, for making this. It is absolutely awesome. As I said, I'll leave a link in the description to the family tree if you want to kind of check this out for yourself to kind of take a look at the kind of fun family. I love this a lot and it is absolutely awesome. Now on to today's episode. But you guys, it is now 5.30 a.m. and Fisher has actually just discovered that there's a monster under his bed which is really really annoying Finley oh my god I swear Fisher is the only child in this household that has ever dealt with the monster problem like I'm not even kidding none of his other siblings like have had this issue it is literally just Fisher today is actually Fisher's birthday I actually did nothing off camera so you guys haven't missed anything today because I sometimes do play a little bit off camera but because it is Fisher's birthday I didn't do any play off camera but today is once again summer break there's gonna be a heat wave today and it is also Fisher's birthday and you guys you'll also be happy to hear that there is going to be another birthday oh my god so many birthdays it is also going to be little Birch's birthday uh, in this part probably we're probably going to be celebrating both of the boys' birthday today we're going to be celebrating Birch's birthday and Fisher's birthday anyways it is the morning and per usual feathers bees are attacking one of the family members. Finley's actually really kindly offered to take care of the chickens today, which is a really, really fun. We actually have some eggs we need to go ahead and collect, but Finley, he also really likes, you know, the chickens, but they're kind of feathers. Feather spends the most time with them, but every now and then Finley's like, you know, what, I'll take care of them. I am now just getting Finley to actually start writing another children's book because as we do know, he did actually quit his job. So of course now he's trying to, you know, become his own kind of boss if you will and he's mainly making money off his royalties we're just gonna go ahead and get him to write another children's book and that actually reminds me one of you guys had an awesome idea to actually put him into the freelance writer career which I thought was a brilliant idea and I really did like really think that I would want to put you know Finley into that career but the reason I'm not gonna do that is mainly because I feel like he really just wants to work for himself like he doesn't want to you know ghost write other people's books I love 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 that idea so thank you so much for kind of recommending that to me but I feel like Finley really really just wants to kind of write his own 
work. Since it is Fisher's birthday today, Feather is actually going to get started on some silly gummy bear pancakes, which sound, oh my god, so fun. So since it is his birthday today, Feather's like, you know, we're going to have a very, very fun meal. So Feather's just getting started on some very fun breakfast. And as I mentioned in probably a previous part, I have to, you know, guard the fridge to make sure no one, you know, tries to get any food whilst Feather's trying to make breakfast. <laughs> okay, pancakes are ready, everybody. Let's go ahead and, oh, oh my god, Willow's asking for the same advice again. I cannot believe that this girl is asking how to make friends. She is like the person you go to to ask that advice. She's never the one asking it. So I think maybe she kind of said to him, you know, I've actually met this guy that's really, really cool. And I think we could be like really close friends. I may have finally found like a best friend because as I mentioned in the last part, she finds it really, really easy to make, you know, quick friends, but she really wants a close friend. So she's kind of told Philly that and thanked him for the advice. But now she's kind of asking again, like, you know, what should I keep doing now? And I think he is probably going to once again say to her the exact same advice as last time. You cannot force friendship. And yes, he's kind of telling her, honey, you really cannot force friendship. You know, it's going to happen. As I said, just keep hanging out with him, you know, and it will come in time. Okay, sweetie. But I'm really, really glad you found someone who you think could be, you know, your long, long term friend. The kids are feeling really, really happy that Finley no longer has to, you know, go to work and that he's around more often. He is really really happy with this because they definitely did you know miss their father a lot you know him going to work every day because of course Feather does work from home so they did see you know a lot of her so they're just really really happy to also have you know Finley around which I think is really really wholesome just some really wholesome family time with some fun pancakes they're probably you know asking Fisher you know what he wants to do for his birthday today which is really really cute but now they're just enjoying some really really fun pancakes and just kind of discussing what they are planning to do for little Fisher's a birthday which is really really fun. Fisher has decided that for his birthday he wants to actually go to an art gallery because as we know he loves art so much so he's kind of said to Feather and Finley that he wants to travel all the way to San Moishino to actually go to the probably the best art gallery in the Sims world. At first Feather and Finley were definitely thinking Fisher you know if San Moishino is very very far away we'd have to probably I would imagine get a flight there because I don't imagine that Willow Creek is near Samoshino in my head. I feel like they're not too far away, but I feel like you would need to get like a two hour flight. Does that make any sense? So I think she's like, you know, it'd be a two hour flight to Samoshino, but of course it is the best art gallery and they know how much he loves art. So they said to him, you know what? We'll get a flight there, Fisher, and you can go to that art gallery for your birthday. So it is currently 11 a.m. So they're probably going to arrive there in my head at around 3 p.m. But since this is a Sims 4 and you know, the, the world kind of dynamic isn't very realistic. They're going to get there immediately, but let's just imagine that they, you know, are boarding, you know, a two hour flight now all the way to the bustling city of Samoishinos. And the kids have actually never been to a city. They've been to, I would imagine, you know, the city near Newcrest because of course there's like city buildings near Newcrest. So they have been to a city before, but not a city as big as Samoishinos. It's going to be a really, really exciting trip for all of them. Okay, we have arrived at the art gallery. They're going to be visiting the art gallery first, which is a really, really fun. It is currently hot outside because everyone is just like, oh my god, it's so hot right now. But we are going to head inside the art gallery and we're just going to start viewing all the artwork. Fisher is absolutely in his element. He just loves being here in the arts district because of course the arts district is such an artsy area and he's just really happy to be here looking at all of the paintings and kind of just, you know, thinking, you know, I really, really want to be like one of these painters when I grow up. I'm currently actually getting Feather to take some pictures of Fisher with the paintings. How cute is this? Because I think this is like his favorite painting in the arts gallery. So he's like, take my picture next to it. So currently Feather is just taking some pictures of him. I hope you're enjoying your birthday so far, Fisher. I think Fisher really does like the city. He's like, oh my gosh, I wish we live here. Willow Creek's so boring compared to the city. The honey brews are now just doing a little bit of exploring around the city. Feather is actually gonna go ahead and buy some produce because she's like, you know what? We need some more tomatoes. We're running low on 
on tomatoes so if Heather is going to quickly just buy uh, what do we need maybe buy maybe not a grape maybe we need a couple more onions we need another lemon okay there we go we just spent 201 simoleons buying some produce but they have quite a lot of money so I don't think they mind I think they're gonna say to the kids you each can get one of these crystals for yourself so I think the daisy is 100% gonna get this very nice pink one here or more of a peach I think Fisher's gonna get a good old blue one because blue is his or her favorite color and I think <laughs> Willow being Willow is gonna get this huge huge rock right here like look at that so there we go each of the kids I've gotten themselves something as well which is a really really lovely I think they're all having a great time in the city it wouldn't be the honey brews if they didn't spot a fishing area so now they're all going fishing which I completely love I love like no matter where they are they'll always try and do something outdoorsy like it literally like they're in the middle of a city they're literally in the heart of the city and they're currently fishing which um is very very honey brew if I've ever seen anything which is so adorable I really don't want to stop this really cute kind of fishing thing that they're all doing and they're all you know trying to catch some dinner for tonight but I am going to get them to head out the arts district now they spent most of the day you know looking around of course the art museum and they bought some things and kind of just kind of talked this area but we of course want to look around some other parts of the city so we are now going to head to the Maishino Meadows Park okay we're at the Maishino Meadows Park and currently Willow is of course using this a big observation thing she is like oh my god I have to go check this out and Daisy and Fisher are like let us have a turn let us have a turn so Willow is currently kind of watching her siblings Fisher just reached creativity level 10 honestly that is incredible I also love how he reached level 10 you know on this day trip I think that's like completely perfect he was just so inspired by what he saw in the art museum feather and finley are just having a really wonderful time just taking in the beautiful park views and kind of just chatting and kind of just you know thinking about everything they've done and they really really cannot believe that you know fisher is going to be a teenager too now but they're really really happy and they're having a wonderful wonderful time okay i'm gonna have to get willow out of this now because it is almost 5 p.m and these guys definitely do actually want to go out and grab some dinner so can you like get out of that there we go <laughs> we are now going to be leaving the maishino meadows park and everyone had a lovely lovely time exploring it which was really really nice and now these guys are going to actually head out to the spice market to go ahead and probably grab some dinner at a restaurant to kind of celebrate fisher's birthday and kind of wrap up a wonderful day okay you guys so the honey brews are now eating out at a really lovely lovely restaurant in the spice district and i kind of regret putting them outside because it is a really really dark i thought there'd be a couple more lights these guys are of course kind of just chilling now <laughs> look at these two i love how willow is just completely you know immersed in her homework like look at her and fisher is there drawing whilst daisy is just talking to her dad like look how cute these guys they all just have their individual personalities which i love okay the lights have actually come on which is is really really good i actually <laughs> got finley to get up and request another table and then it kind of hit me that the lights just came on so i had to reclaim this table once again which is really really annoying <laughs> but now everyone is just kind of talking to each other i feel like the honey brews always go out for dinner so yeah they're kind of just relaxing talking about you know their trip to the city and what they kind of think of the big bustling city of san Leishino. oh my god feather is currently talking about the plane ride home i think she's like okay you guys we're just gonna have some delicious dinner here and then we are going to go ahead and catch the flight home i feel like daisy is like i'm so tired can't we just stay overnight in a hotel or something and feather's like no it's only a two hour flight let's just get home and you know make this a day's trip and not stay anywhere overnight which is you know pretty good but yeah i think that everyone like i said is just discussing what they thought of the city i think daisy's kind of saying that you know when she's older she plans to stay in willow creek or maybe move to newcrest fisher on the other hand he kind of said you know i quite like you know the city he quite likes samish you know because he feels as if there's more people like him in the city if you know what i mean also look at these two <laughs> oh my god look at them but as i was saying he definitely does feel like there's more people you know like him in the city and he feels you know less alone because of course there's a whole arts district so fisher's kind of saying you know i would not mind you know staying in the city or maybe moving here when i'm older oh my god the food is here oh goodness this is so exciting i always get excited over this but the food did arrive thank goodness there was a very very high chance that we wouldn't be ordering our food which or we won't be receiving our food so it's great to see that everyone's meals are here okay we 
are now going to go ahead and bring out the cake. We are going to go ahead and get a blue confetti cake for Fisher, since of course, as we know, his favourite colour is a blue, so it's more than fitting to get him a blue confetti cake. Okay, here it is. Add the birthday candles. Happy birthday, Fisher. And go ahead and blow out those candles. Let's make sure that everyone is here. Oh my god, Finley, please don't go to the toilet when your son's ageing up. Okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> Happy birthday, Fisher. Oh my goodness. Happy birthday. Oh my gosh, look at him. Everyone's, you know, celebrating. Oh, he didn't do it. Okay, there we go. He did it right this time. Happy birthday. And Fisher has aged up. Okay, so you guys, of course, it's pretty obvious what inspiration we're going to go for. Painter extraordinaire, obviously. And of course, he is still a loner. He is 100% creative. He's also an art lover. And what would his other trait be? Let's see. Squeamish. You guys were screaming at me to give him the squeamish trait when he aged up. You guys were like, it would be so fitting. And I think it is fitting because, you know, his whole life or most of his life, his parents have been trying to force him to, you know, go camping, but he hates it so much. So I think squeamish is the perfect trait to add on on the end. So this is Fisher. Oh, okay. Okay. How does he look? Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> Look at Fisher. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, his hair, those, those green baby hairs. But oh my god, look at him. He is so adorable. Okay, I'm going to quickly hop into Create a Sim and give him a makeover. So I'll be with you guys once Fisher has gotten his makeover. Okay, everybody. So I just finished giving Mr. Fisher Honeybrew a makeover. And oh my gosh, I still feel like Fisher is still, of course, his loner self. Maybe even more of a loner now, judging by like how I did his outfits. Not saying you should, you know, judge a book by its cover, but I feel like <laughs> I really wanted to display his personality in his outfits since I do do that with most of my Sims. So I ended up giving him this a really, really cute hair right here. This is a, a very, very nice hair. It came from Dream Home Decorator and I just thought it so suited him so much. I feel like Fisher, he's never really had really short hair and I don't think he ever plans on having like super short hair. So I think this kind of hairstyle really did, you know, fit him. It looks like a little bit unkept but like still like he brushed it and that's kind of how I wanted it to look. For his everyday wear one, he is just wearing, you know, a jumper and some jeans. You guys will find that lots of his outfits are super duper basic and super duper relaxed because of course, since he's a loner, he feels like he can't really express himself, which I know sounds really, really sad, but he definitely feels the pressure of, I guess, high school and wanting to kind of blend in and not stand out. So he really you know, doesn't really express himself that much outfit wise. I feel like he's the kind of person that when he goes to university, he like fully becomes himself, but he's very, you know, quiet in school. His second outfit is really, really cute. Now, as you guys can tell, Fisher would never go out in this because he'd be way too embarrassed, as cute as it is. That is why I actually gave him no shoes with this. He is wearing these crazy grandma socks, as I like to call them. And this is the kind of outfit he'll just wear when he's lounging in the house with his family, hence the no shoes. His third outfit right here, I just had to give him this wolf t-shirt. He wears lots of jumpers and lots of t-shirts, you know, very comfortable clothing. His fourth outfit is very basic, basically just a grey t-shirt and just some jeans. That's all it is. And his fifth outfit, basically exactly the same, instead with this grey hoodie. So he wears mostly blue and grey in most of his outfits. His formal wear is completely grey, no specks of blue in it. Just a blue hoodie and then his sleepwear. And you know what's cute about this is that this is the exact pajama set that his sister Willow has. So these two have matching pajamas, which is really, really adorable. And of course, he had to go with his crazy grandma socks that he wore in his second everyday wear outfit as well. They're kind of like his, you know, lounging in the house socks. So I love how, you know, him and Willow kind of match. His party wear, once again, quite basic. You know, we're bringing back those blue colors. His swimwear, really, really cute. Just some kind of blue and white colors. He also likes to wear a lot of white, mainly just white, black, gray and blue very just you know cool tones i mean i guess black white and gray don't really have a cool tone to them but you get my drift and then his hot weather wear which is a really really comfortable and then we have his cold weather wear which has a lot of white in it it's probably his brightest outfit so this is fisher let me know what you think about him in the comment section down below do you think that his makeover suits him i think it does i think he is you know a very quiet person who just wants to blend in but he 
she is absolutely creative and a really creative soul so hopefully when you know he gets to university he'll kind of you know open up and I feel like because he is very artsy and creative I think that definitely will flow into his outfits but I think right now since he just you know got into high school he definitely isn't really ready to fully express himself yet but this is kind of the teenager version of Fisher but these guys do have a flight to catch it is really really late in the night so these guys are gonna go ahead and head to the airport they're going to be completely shattered tomorrow I'm still really happy that it is the summer break so the kids can have a lion but I'm probably going to get these guys to catch their flight head home so I'll be seeing you all when these guys wake up tomorrow good morning everybody so it is currently 6 a.m and all oh, willow is absolutely doing terribly she woke up this morning with food poisoning you guys and she did actually just sweet herself because she didn't get it in to the bathroom in time so we're gonna blame that completely on her food poisoning so she is feeling really really ill of course you know she has gotten her night's rest but she probably should have slept until like 10 a.m so unfortunately we cannot complain about the food poisoning so poor willow is just gonna have to deal with it which sucks it probably didn't help that you know they got home at like 3 a.m because of the flight and everything so of course she didn't get much sleep but she is really the only one up right now she is just you know had a shower she's cleaned herself up and now she's grabbing herself some delicious gummy bear pancakes from yesterday. I think today Willow is kind of thinking that she kind of just wants to have like, you know, a day in relaxing. You know, over the summer break, we have like done a lot. They've been, you know, going out nearly every single day. Willow is currently putting on the thermostat because it is a heat wave today. It has been getting progressively hotter in Willow Creek because we're currently in the first week of summer and now it's becoming a heat wave. So like feather, sorry, feather, sorry, Willow, throw on that air conditioning. Oh my God, look at these two. How cute are they? Oh, that's so nice. I feel like, as we know, Finley does worry a lot about Fisher because, of course, Fisher, he isn't very sociable. He he has a lot of trouble with things, so Finley is always, you know, worried about Fisher like he always has been more than, like, everyone else. So it's good to see him kind of chatting. I think, obviously, everyone in this family is close, but I do think that Finley has a hard time connecting to his son because, you know, Fisher, he is very, very different to, you know, Willow and to Daisy and to really, you know, they're all extroverts and Fisher is kind of the only only introvert in the family so I think that's why so it's nice to see that these guys you know chatting and talking poor Willow is feeling really really embarrassed over of course you know the whole you know bad tummy food poisoning incident girl yeah drink lots of water just keep drinking water and then you should feel better in no time since it is a heat wave today I am gonna go ahead and get everybody to just head outside so everyone's just gonna go swimming I think I think it's a bit too hot for sunbathing you know it's not too hot for sunbathing although it's probably really 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 hot but we're gonna go ahead and sunbathe anyway everyone though it's gonna go ahead and just do some swimming because you know it's so hot like we need to like make use of this beautiful like you know back garden we have here so everyone is now hopping into the pool to kind of just enjoy these amazing summer days it looks like they're having a race and daisy is winning that race look at all the redheads how cute is that oh my gosh i love that i love that you can tell that willow isn't a natural redhead you can tell that she kind of went for that more artificial red hair color but you know if she still looks really adorable next to Daisy and Finley which is so cute. Whilst there is Feather and Fisher just you know Feather is sunbathing she's really trying to get a tan but Fisher is kind of just relaxing as you guys can tell he has some sun cream on his face because he is like I am not getting sunburnt today so he is just kind of relaxing. Okay Daisy has drama club in 30 minutes but for now she is once again also doing some relaxing. I feel like Daisy is definitely going to be a very you know cosmetic girl if you will I feel like she's definitely when you know she's a teenager she's going to be really into makeup I think she's definitely going to be very different to her other siblings you guys also said that you kind of would get the vibe that she would, would turn out pretty mean in like her teenagers and I thought that was a really good idea and I think you know maybe when she becomes a young adult she kind of sees the error of her ways but you know throughout her teenagers she's quite mean and quite judgmental but as a young adult she kind of realized you know how wrong she was but I think that could be pretty interesting and I think it suits Daisy I, I don't know I really do get the kind of mean girl vibe from her Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my lord. Guys, look at Feather. <laughs> Girl's got a sunburn. Oh my, hold on. <laughs> Feather has gotten herself a sunburn. Oh my god, Feather. I didn't really 
nice. Girl, look at those like sunburn lines there. Sweetie. Oh my god. Or tan lines. I forgot what they're called. Not sunburn lines, but you know what I mean. Girl, what have you done? <laughs> Finley is just taking care of Birch. Oh, how adorable. I think Finley is definitely happy that, you know, they have another baby boy because, I don't know, I think they were both really hoping for two girls and two boys. So they're just feeling really accomplished with, of course, their little baby boy, baby Birch. He's been such a good boy. Like, he is so quiet. He just sleeps all day. It is so cute. Like, he literally doesn't bother anybody. He just sleeps and it's really, really sweet. He's a very quiet baby, which is nice. Oh my god, you guys. I'm hideous my face is a mess i can't go anywhere looking like this no fisher oh god i'm so sad that is really really heartbreaking that is like honestly i'm I'm not surprised Fisher said something like that because, of course, he is really insecure, which I hate. Feather would... Oh, but she wouldn't say it's, like, fine. Don't overreact. She'd be like, you know, it's fine. Just don't overreact, Fisher. I think she'd probably say something like, you know, you're amazing. I love you. But there isn't really an option for that. So I think that she's probably just going to say to him, you know, it's fine. Don't overreact. But in, like, a very nice way. Like, a very much, you know, you know, it's fine, honey. You should not overreact. You look fine fine okay you look amazing but the honey brews are now planning on having a very very relaxing evening inside so i'll be seeing you all when the family wakes up tomorrow Good morning, everybody. So it is now the next day, and the Honey Brews have had a very relaxed morning. They've just been really just chilling out, eating breakfast, and just having a really, really fun time together. The siblings are now, of course, chatting. Oh my god, <laughs> does Finley like backyard music? He totally does. But of course, today is summer barbecue, but I have some really, really bad news to break to you guys. It is currently thunderstorming in Willow Creek. It is the first thunderstorm of the year. We've had a couple of heat waves and now the thunder has rolled in so as you guys can tell willow creek right now is in complete shambles with this crazy weather this crazy rain i'm really just looking out for a strike of lightning but as you guys can tell the weather is absolutely there we go there's lightning we cannot have a backyard barbecue thingy with of course colin amajuki in weather like this I feel like it's so sad that it's, you know, summer barbecue and everybody is just spending it indoors watching TV as if it was, you know, Winterfest or a more colder holiday. But these guys are still having fun either way, kind of just, you know, hanging out as they've been doing really the whole, you know, summer holidays for the kids since all the kids have, of course, been home. So once again, the honey brews are just talking. I feel like we see this so much, but it's a good thing because it means they're all really close. But it is actually Virch's birthday today, so we are going to go ahead and age up little baby birch to a toddler you guys we're going to be having the last toddler in the household and this will be the last baby so say goodbye to the last little baby honey brew <laughs> he aged up so quickly but yeah this is going to be the last little baby and now he is going to be aging up in to a toddler so fisher is of course wanting to age off his little brother because he's really really excited that you know he has a younger brother so birch is aged up let's randomize the traits one two three we have got a wild child so of course this is good this kid's gonna be running everywhere but she's gonna be having so much energy and he's a charmer so actually so far willow and fisher were both silly daisy was a charmer but we haven't had a wild child yet so that's gonna be fun having a very energetic but lovable child so there we go here's baby but she's definitely you know going to be babied so much like even worse than when willow was and oh my god you guys he has he has finley's hair color i'm so excited about that and hold on oh <gasps> wait does he have feathers blue eyes i was really really hoping he would have feathers blue eyes wait wait <laughs> the plum bobs in the way he has feathers eyes you guys he has feathers blue eyes oh my god willow fisher and daisy all have brown eyes and little baby birch has blue eyes oh my god <laughs> why am i so excited over that i do not know but i am excited over that so yeah oh my goodness how exciting is this and oh goodbye willow willow's like oh i gotta head off to scouts now which is a fun but let me know what you guys thought of today's part in the comment section down below let me know did you enjoy it let me know what you thought thought of their kind of family trip to Samoshino and let me know what you thought of of course Fisher's makeover you know what do you think of him so far as a teenager he is really really talkative around his family but I think the second he enters the school halls or anywhere where there's like other people he's definitely going to be very quiet and I'm really really looking forward to exploring more of who he is but 
as I said, let me know what you think of today's part. I would love, love, love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions and suggestions for this Let's Play. And if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We'd love to have you join the Plum family and I'll be seeing you all in the next video. A quick thank you to all of the channel members. Thank you Ace, Kristen, Cottage Crossing, The Mint Plum Bob of Florida, Michelle Monroe, Snowy Blaze, Meadows Hearth, Yuki Cross, Emily James, Mookie Bear, Crystal Stephanie, McKenna, Robin Ivy Louise, Cookie Monster, Gianna Hicks, M. Howe, Teeny Frog, Redalia Griffin, Callisto Eris, and Lee. I really do appreciate it.